Right, so in the last video, we made a tempo map out of this song, and it kind of went like this. I'm going to turn the metronome on here and go for it. And so forth. You can see the tempo map up here as it's changing um, each measure as we go. And it follows along, and we want to put some drums with it. So what I've done here, I've uh, put up a Superior Drummer track. And just loaded in a simple a, a simple kit with some uh, drums at the bottom down here, just like you normally would. And we have the follow host button engaged at the bottom, so when I hit play, we can hear uh, the drums come in with it. So I've been asked a few times, how do we get the audio from Superior Drummer out of Superior Drummer and into Luna so that we can mix it as if it was a regular song? That's what we're going to go through today. So we have to do a few things first to get ready to uh, import the audio. If you notice, when we set the tempo map for uh, Luna, uh, Luna starts at bar one. We started this tempo map here at bar one, uh, right here, right? Now inside of Superior Drummer, it thinks that that is uh, measure seven, which it kind of is uh, according to where the timeline is. We have a couple measures here before we start, right? And that's not gonna work. Also, this follow host is not gonna work because uh, we need to uh, export this audio and Superior Drummer needs to follow a sort of tempo map to know what we're doing. So we'll, let's create a tempo map first. The way we do that is we create a new track uh, instrument track. I do not want any instrument on it. I'm just going to call it tempo map. Now I'm going to create a MIDI region on this track by hitting control, which brings up my pencil tool. I'm going to draw in a, uh, a note here. I'm just going to drag that to the beginning. And then I'm going to drag that out all the way to the end. Some Sometimes you don't need to do this in some dolls and in some you do. It's just better to just go ahead and do it, and then you'll be covered either way. I'm going to take that note I drew in there and do the same thing. I'm going to draw that all the way to the end. Again, you don't always need to do that, but it's probably better to do it just in case. Now, I want to export that tempo map. To do that, I'm going to come up here to File, Export, Multitrack MIDI File. I'm going to call this MIDI Map or tempo map or whatever, I'm gonna send this to the same folder that I have the song in so that everything stays in one place. New folder, I'm gonna call this MIDI, I'm gonna call this the tempo map folder. I'm gonna send that to that folder. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to Superior Drummer, open up the plugin, and I need to import that tempo map. I'm gonna come down here to track, import tempo from MIDI file. Click on that. I'm going to go find that tempo map, which is here. Open. Now Superior Drummer is going to follow that map, okay? And this is important. I need to turn off Follow Host, and I'm going to take all of this information I've put in here. I'm going to drag it to bar one. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because this song starts on bar one. There is no MIDI information in that MIDI uh, tempo map that happens before bar one. So if you were to export this, it will be completely out of time because it's starting to read MIDI information over here instead of here. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, now let's go ahead and export this. Export song as audio files. I'm gonna check a few things here, that's fine. I'm gonna bounce this to that same folder so that we keep everything in one place. I'm gonna create a new folder and call it drums. SD3. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and mute that track. I can go ahead and turn off Superior Drummer. And I'm gonna go get that file. Okay, so here is my folder with that information in it. Here's my drums from there. I'm gonna grab all of these and drag them into Luna. And of course, you notice that they are not lined up exactly where I need them to be, and that's okay. I can grab them. I'm going to move them over to our one, which is where Luna thinks everything starts anyway. Let me zoom in here. And now you can see everything is lined up with that bar that is known as one. Now, all of these drums will follow that tempo. Let me make sure that Superior Drummer is off and we can hear this whole thing. 
Okay, great. Now you can uh, treat this as if it was recorded in your studio. So the main thing to remember when using Superior Drummer is that it's sort of a separate application. What it's doing is different than what's happening in your DAW. So when you export something or when you tell Superior Drummer that there's a different tempo happening, like in this tempo map up here, you need to remember where bar one is in relation to where the DAW tells you that bar one is. Hope that was helpful and thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. I've got some new videos coming soon where we'll do a full mix again and uh, take care.